Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from the Double Vibes and in this video lecture I will explain what is the common collector amplifier. Another name of the common collector amplifier is the emitter follower. And this name is given because in the common uh, collector amplifier base point is the input point. You take the output across the emitter terminal while the collector terminal can be seen that is uh, directly connected with the VCC and uh, when you will perform the AC analysis you know that all the DC sources are replaced with the ground so this collector terminal is at AC ground that's why the name common collector amplifier is given. Another name which is the emitter follower name is given because the output follows exactly the input pattern and output is always in phase with the input and we will see why is it so. So let's start the analysis of the common collector amplifier and let's evaluate the voltage gain of it. For starting the analysis of the common collector amplifier we have drawn the equivalent circuit or the AC equivalent circuit for this you know that the transistor equivalent circuit can be replaced with the dependent current source which is alpha times AC into IE. Collector is at AC ground because VCC is replaced by VDD uh, sorry ground and then this is the base point here the internal emitter resistance which is denoted by RE is present and here it can be seen that when I will draw the equivalent circuit we will replace this VCC point with the ground and this terminal of the resistor will be at the ground while one will be connected at the base. So this is R1 which is connected at the base, R2 will be drawn in parallel with R1 and then there comes the R in base resistor. So this will be the R in base resistance. Okay. After that at the base point you can see that at the emitter capacitor effectively appears as short circuited. So RE will be in parallel with RL. Alright. So this is the emitter point. And here we have we can see two resistors RE and RL. And they both are parallel while capacitor is replaced with a short circuit. Okay. And what about the collector terminal? Collector is at AC ground. So this is the equivalent circuit. Now let's evaluate the voltage gain for this common collector amplifier. Here it can be seen that this is RE resistance which is actually equal to RE parallel to RL. So the parallel combination has been represented by RE. Okay, now let's evaluate the voltage gain. Voltage gain is defined as V out divided by V in. Okay, now looking at this equivalent circuit, we can see that we are taking the output at the point of the emitter. Okay. And at the emitter terminal, we can see that V out is actually equal to IE, which is the emitter current that is flowing. Okay. So this is the meter point and the current flowing through uh, through it can be determined by the Ohm's law IE into RE so IE into RE divided by this is the input side and the current flowing through it can be determined again using the Ohm's law and here we can see two resistors RE and this RE means internal emitter resistance and the equivalent emitter resistor are connected in series so they will be added up IE plus RE these two current terms will be cancelled out and RE is RE divided by small RE. As we know that this value 
और दिस वैल्यू इज़ वेरी लार्ज सिंस आर ई इज़ वेरी लार्ज एज कम्पेयर टू आर ई बिकॉज इट्स यूजली इन किलो हम्स वाइल इट इज़ ओनली ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी ओ हम्स सो दैट्स वाई वी कैन राइट इट इट्स इक्विलेंट फॉर्मूला एज आर ई ओवर आर ई विच इज़ इक्वल टू वन सो फ्रॉम हेयर वी कंक्लूड दैट द वोल्टेज गेन ऑफ द कॉमन कलेक्टर एम्पलीफायर इज इक्वल टू वन दिस इज द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द कॉमन कलेक्टर एम्पलीफायर विच मीन्स इट डजेंट प्रोवाइड द वोल्टेज गेन वट एवर द इनपुट सिग्नल विल बी प्रेजेंट ओवर हेयर यू विल गेट द सिग्नल ऑफ द सेम मैग्नीट्यूड एट द आउटपुट साइड दिस इज द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी ओके नो लेट्स इवेल्युएट द टोटल इनपुट डिजिस्टेंस Another property of the common collector amplifier is that it has high input resistance. How? Because if you evaluate the total R in total, just like in the common emitter amplifier, it can be seen that it's equal to the parallel combination of R one, R two, and then R in base. Fine. and now we need to evaluate the total input resistance r in base okay so for that we can see that r in base is equal to vb over ib and the voltages at the base are equal to ie into आर ई प्लस आर ई जस्ट लाइक इन द प्रीवियस केस वाइल दिस इज इक्वल टू आई बी फाइन एज वी नो दैट आई ई इज अप्रोक्सीमेटली इक्वल टू आई सी एंड आई सी इज इक्वल टू बीटा ए सी टाइम्स ऑफ आई बी वैन वी आर कंसिडरिंग द ए सी पैरामीटर सो लेट्स ए सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यूज सो यू विल हैव बीटा ए सी इन टू आई बी इंटू आर ई प्लस आर ई डिवाइडेड बाई आई बी अगेन द टर्म आई बी आई बी विल बी कैंसल्ड आउट एंड यू आर लेफ्ट विद बीटा ए सी इंटू आर ई प्लस आर ई वी कैन टेक द सेम अप्रोच इफ आर ई इज लार्ज एज कम्पेयर टू द इंटरनल एमीटर रेजिस्टेंस देन आर इन बेस कैन बी सिंपली इवेल्यूएटेड बाई यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला बीटा ए सी into r e okay and once you have determined the value of r in base you can substitute its value for determining the value of the total emitter resistance which is the parallel combination of r1 r2 and now beta ac times into r e this is the second characteristics of the common collector amplifier which states that the common collector amplifier has the high input resistance and because of this property it is usually used as a buffer okay and why the name emitter follower is given since if the input signal is changing like that there is no enhancement in the magnitude so there is basically no in large signal at the output side and also there is no phase invariant is present in the common collector amplifier so that's why we name it as the emitter follower if we are interested in evaluating the current gain of the common emitter collector amplifier this is the ratio of output current which is the emitter current and the input current which is the base current so ie over ib is referred to as the current gain of the common collector amplifier and another parameter is the power gain of the common collector amplifier which is represented by ap and it is the product of the voltage gain and the current gain and the power gain of the common collector amplifier is approximately equal to the current gain since the voltage gain is equal to 1 okay thank you for watching